Good morning and welcome to another video of the uh, Zone Tool Tips and Tricks series. In this video, I'd like to uh, explain my view on uh, how users uh, should choose keywords, both for PPC as well as uh, keywords that uh, you should first target in order to rank for. Um, something that uh, uh, a lot I've seen in the, in the past 10 months working with you guys, with the users, I've seen a lot of misunderstanding and mistakes is uh, on how to pick your keyword, how to know a keyword is a good keyword, which keyword to start with, which keyword uh, you should uh, yeah you should invest in first, both uh, on the side of building your listing, uh, creating good titles, as well as uh, on the PPC side, what keyword you should start building on. Um, so yeah, in this is a very short presentation. It probably ten minutes video somehow, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna explain. Again, my view on keywords relevancy and how to choose them. So uh, a very, very important concept that you got to understand and learn, the better you learn this, the more money you're going to make online, uh, specifically on Amazon. So you got to be able to determine the keyword temperatures. So you're going to go through different tools that will give you a, a bunch, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 of keywords related to your product. You can go reverse agents, you can go I don't know, Google Ads, there are so many tools out there to find keywords. The problem is not finding keywords. The problem is like picking the right keywords. And, and the problem is also identifying a strategy that will allow you to cover as many keywords as possible without wasting shitloads of money. So the skill of understanding uh, the keyword temperature is a very, very good skill. Uh, what does this mean? It means that you should take keyword by keyword and you should examine each one and try to understand the mindset that the buyer had at the time he was typing that specific keyword or search term. Um, next slide. What do I mean? There are basically four or five different mindset, different temperature, if you want to call them, uh, that identify uh, a buyer. Uh, let's take an example back brace i'm selling you know a back brace for lifting you know the one for lifting weights the, the one that the guys at, at amazon wear all day when they, they pick and pack stuff they got the usb try ups track or fedex or dhl people wear when they carry around your package around the world so back brace for lifting now a, a buyer might be looking to buy a present to somebody might be looking to buy a present a wife might be looking to buy a present to her husband and she's unaware of the existing of this specific product. So what she might go around, she might uh, look for medical equipment. So if I go on Amazon and look for medical equipment, so much stuff. And as you see, it's everything unrelated to anything, you know, it's not specifically uh, big break. So at this stage of buyer, me looking for medical equipment, I have no fucking clue what I want to buy. I know perhaps I want to buy a, a gift, perhaps, but still I know I want to buy a gift, but I have no idea what I want to buy. And you don't want to be the guy advertising for, for this, unless you have a solid strategy. You see, I mean, there's a lot of random stuff here. A lot, a lot, a lot of random stuff. Okay, so this is a cold buyer, somebody getting onto Amazon and looking for these words, they are called buyers. You don't want to show your product to them yet. And then there is uh, a buyer that is aware of a problem. Let's say that a, a buyer that hopefully will end up buying our back breaks for lifting is aware of his problem. His problem is back pain. So this buyer, which is a problem aware buyer, will go on Amazon and search for back pain. Now, I am aware of a problem because I have a back pain. I'm going to go through this search result and I'm going to find several solutions. Many, many, many. Okay, I got something here, which is migraine, but again, is not really related to back pain. So this is like a very bad um, buyer mindset match. But there is a mat here, neck pain relief and back pain relief. Okay, perhaps I want to buy this one. Perhaps I want to buy a cream. Perhaps, oh, I want to buy... A uh, back brace with post correction, perhaps. I have other back brace examples here. 
I have some turmeric curcumin, I have some pain relief, icy hot spray. Uh, you see, so also here, I have back pain, but I'm, I'm presented with many, 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 many different options, which as a buyer, which has not made up his mind yet to want to buy, I'm going to click into several of these. I'm going to pay for, if you're advertising here, I'm going to pay for clicks. And I'm not going to buy you yet, simply because I don't know yet what I want to buy. I'm just searching back pain and just try to understand and learn about the solution and understand which solution will be the best for me. Uh, when we move on the warmer side, we found a buyer that has already looked into all the solution because he searched for back pain. He looked into pretty much all the things that are here, which are, for instance, echo pressure mat, pain relief cream, uh, back braces, and lumbar cushion. And as a buyer, he might have decided that the best option for him, and again, he clicked into this, he still didn't buy anything. He might have decided at this point that the back brace is the solution he wants to go for. So at this point, the buyer is solution aware. Now we start to enter in the warm and hot area where the buyer actually is about ready to buy. So if I'm the buyer now, I go into and, and decide, you know what? I'm going to buy a freaking back brace. So I'm going to search for back brace. And now, remember, initial problem, I mean, we are selling a back brace for lifting, all right? So I'm a buyer, I'm a UPS truck driver, I lift weight, I don't know yet exists a back brace specific for lifting. So I'm gonna go through this, I'm gonna see a lot of different back braces, which might or might not fit what I wanna buy, but fundamentally, I will see this one, I will see, hold on, I will see post correction back brace. I will see back brace with lumbar support. I will see briefable back braces. And I will see back braces for lifting. And boom, and that's where the lights turn on. Because now, when I finally search for back brace and I presented with so many different kind and solution about the specific sub niche or keyword, so longer take words from back brace, I finally get a bulb bulb light bulb here when I see back brace for lifting. And that's perhaps what I want to buy. So once I understand that in the world exist actually people like you guys that develop and launch to market product specifically for my pain, for my specific situation, which is back pain, back brace for lifting. Oh, I have. Here you are, you see, back brace for lifting, lower lifting heavy object. Okay, so there's all sorts of keywords, but I finally gonna zero in and all right, now I'm ready to buy. All right, now I know exactly what I wanna buy. I know the product I want to look for exists and I'm gonna click into something here, maybe one or two and perhaps buy it. All right, so this is pretty much a, a normal buyer journey, anybody does this, you guys do this before. When you search for a product for Amazon, you do exactly this, right? You look at the top niche, health and, uh, health and beauty, and then slowly, slowly you go down and you identify the product you want to sell. The buyer does exactly the same um, journey. So what we learn or what we can assume from here, all right? So, you guys got to figure out for each term that came out of the tools that you use for your research, you're going to have to um, understand what color this term here, what uh, mindset this term is for, and build pretty much four buckets. Uh, I got five here because I also use brand aware, but basically you got to need four buckets. You got to need a bucket for product aware, which are your longest tail keywords, solution aware, uh, which are uh, back pain, sorry, back brace in our case, so shorter tail keywords, a bucket for problem wear, which in your case is back pain, and the unaware bucket, I mean, uh, I, it's very unlikely you find keywords for the unaware bucket uh, throughout a reverse easing or stuff like this, but just in case, have that bucket ready, all right? And of course, you're going to need also a bucket for brand aware, so uh, brand plus back brace, brand plus back brace for 
lifting and so on. Um, so yeah, again, take your, um, the, yeah, you will see uh, which stuff is missing on my brand and everybody's brand and all the users, that the hotter the terms here, the higher expected conversion rate you can have. All right, so if you bid on your brand uh, keywords, brand aware keywords, you're gonna have a crazy high conversion because people that type your brand, they know you, they wanna buy you, so they see you, they're gonna click and buy. All right, so you can expect crazy conversion, 34 to 500, 600%, depending how many we have to cart. Product aware, so uh, back brace for lifting, they know they wanna buy that one. If you show yourself at the right time, you're gonna expect 15 to 30% conversion, which is pretty high. And solution, solution aware, so if you're just bid to back braces, you might not be offering the kind of back brace they need. So the conversion is gonna be lower. Um, and of course, problem aware and unaware or close to zero conversion. And conversion rate uh, reflects on your ACOS. The higher the conversion rate, the lower your ACOS will be. So if you guys want low ACOS, everybody wants low ACOS, you're going to have to uh, select your keywords properly. How to start? My advice is always to start from your product aware and brand aware keyword. All right. So that should be your first stop both for ranking and for PPC. This should convert very good right out of the gate, should generate a very good ROI and positive cash flow. And only once you have that positive cash flow, only once you you know that you are generating money out of this, you can take the money that you're generating and testing keywords that are in those two buckets. Only after, okay? That's a second or third, third stage. That would be my advice to you guys. Um, bonus tip, uh, as we know, we cannot decide the headline of our responsive products. It's fixed, it's by our product title, but we can decide the headline of the headline search ads, which are named. So here is a quote uh, from Gene Schwartz, um, and it says, if the buyer is aware of your product and has realized it can s uh, satisfy his desire, your headline should start with the product. So. Whenever you run HSA for back brace, you're gonna write back brace for, or HSA for your longer tail. So back brace for lifting by our blah, 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 blah. If the buyer is not aware of your product, but is only aware of the desire itself, your headlines will start with the desire. The desire in our case is to buy a back brace. We don't know specifically what back brace we need, but you can say, you need a back brace, buy our lifting back brace to relieve uh, uh, lower back pain if you lift weights, blah, 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 blah. And now the third one is, if a buyer is not aware of what he really seeks, but is concerned with a general problem, which is back pain, our headline should start with a problem and crystallize into a specific product. So if you're targeting keywords for back pain, you should sell Having back pain, try our back brace for blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, again, these are bonus tips. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this and, and please put it to work. So whenever you do marketing research, whenever you do keyword research, and whenever you decide what you rank for and what you uh, want to bid for, remember this and remember that if you want to make money right out of the gate, you could have to focus on the first dark red and red bucket of keywords. Thank you for watching. See you next video.